Yes, my family. Blessings. Another great rise, you know? Yeah, man. Give thanks. Yeah, man. Why? Weather. Dreary and rainy today, you know? Yeah, man. So. Can't do much outside, but you don't know that no stack we still, so. Come check in for that, you know, look at. Checking for the vegetables, but I look a break. Yeah, veggies on the plant. Yeah, yes. I'm going to go on good, so at least you now for worry about water in the next couple of days, you know? Yeah. Like I'm supposed to rain a couple of days, so right now, everything nice and water out. Come on. So the mint there, eh? I'm a sage. Yeah, rosemary, skelly, and them ketchup nice. Yeah, I'll go on and grow. Mm -hmm. But yeah, man, good day, you know. So, so we said, not no stop before I go outside and cook, you know. And today, I'm gonna do some deep fried turkey. Yeah, normally, is that thing when they do at Thanksgiving time, you know. But yeah, you know, you got man feel for some turkey today. You know, yeah, man. So, as you can see everything is spring and spring you know so you see everything is growing out around the pond here but yeah man see all the grass there the grass of a plant up yeah, look a patch yeah yeah grow nice but yeah as what man said yeah man usually during the, the um thanksgiving time frame when people do turkey but me, me not the mood for some turkey today so the deep fry some turkey you know so in the tea time in the meantime, yeah, man, I'm going to stay tuned and check in the reason of the kitchen. Alright, I'm going to show you how we're going to set up this thing after that. Yeah, man. Alright, family, welcome back to the kitchen. So, as I'm say, we're going to do today, we're going to do some deep fried turkey. So, you know, I bought this a couple weeks ago. Um, you can watch one of my previous videos, it's a um, deep fryer. So, before I use it, what I need to do is make sure that I know exactly where to put the, the amount of oil in there. So when I put the, the uh, fried turkey in here, um, I know exactly what to mark the oil so it don't um, go over. Even though it have a little fill line, if you can see, where it's a maximum fill line, there are 22 pound turkeys there. But what I like to do is just kind of gauge it. So this is a it's about a 14 pound turkey. Alright. So what we're gonna do is drop it in here and then just fill it up with water. So we can kind of gauge. So gauge how this this um how much oil I need to put in here. Alright? So once I put that in there now, I use my marker. And I'm going to mark it. So on the outside I'll be able to mark it. And then see if on the inside. So I won't put a mark on the inside. But at least I will know how to gauge how much oil I need to put in there. Because remember the heavier the turkey, right? The heavier the turkey, the more or less oil it will So I need a lighter turkey right now because they already have a thin line to the 22 pounds, which is the maximum um, size turkey you want to do. So, and usually when we have deep fried turkey, I don't want to do more than probably about 18 pounds is the max amount or uh, weight wise on the road. Because the problem is that the bigger the turkey, the longer it takes to cook. So when you have deep fried turkey, it's usually about three to five minutes per pound. Right? So you can calculate the time based on the weight of the turkey. Um, the thing about bigger turkeys, anything over 18 pounds is that you have to cook it longer and a lot of times you end up burning the skin trying to cook the inside. You, you remember the breast is the thickest part of the chicken so you want that, or the turkey so you want that cooked. And if you, um, the heavier the turkey, the bigger the turkey, the longer that inter internal breast takes to cook. You know? So I'd rather stay with, within the 16 to you know, 18, 18 pound range, maximum in cup, in cup of tea. So you see this is almost full. I'm 
which I saw I mentioned to the water. You know what I'm saying? I'm come over here, so. Yeah, by the way, Vince operating the camera today. So. What happened is, once this fill up more on the aisle, or the, at least the water, to cover this, this turkey, right? So that we know exactly how to mark it. And generally what happens still, you know, the aisle will, will, will bubble up once you put the, the, the turkey in it, right? But at least it's not going to overflow. That's how he's going to mark it. I want to make sure so when, it, when it's cooking there's no oil below this, the, the surface of the meat itself. Alright, so that should be good. We'll turn off the turn it off though. Alright, so next thing we're gonna do is pull up the turkey. Make sure it's all in water still in there. Measurement. That's about where more I fill it up with oil. Okay. So we'll just put the maybe the weight. So we know if we have 14 pound turkey, that's much. That's as much oil or we need feed where it won't bubble over. All right. So, that is it for now. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to prepare up the turkey, um, clean it up, um, season it up, and I have to make it soak for probably about an hour, not a seasoning, before we put it on the grease. Alright? So, stay tuned until then, and we'll check in shortly. Alright, see you in a shot. Alright, so, we will clean up this chicken right now, as I'm going to our turkey, which should I say. <laughs> it's a big chicken, it's a lot of chicken. But yeah, so the chicken neck and the giblets and stuff will come out tight. So what we do now, I usually save this, give this to my dogs. I tell you, some of my dogs that love fresh meats, you know. So usually I will use this to make gravy, but you know, as I said, the dogs in love with the heart, liver, the kidney, all them thing there. Save those for the dogs, you know. Yeah, they like this stuff. the giblets. Put it up small so then can share it as it's twelve. Chicken, chicken rear, yeah. <laughs> chicken rear, that's what it's away. Some of this fat. Some clean on the inside. Check the outside, make sure so we don't have no feathers on it. Nice and clean. Alright, I don't know, just wash it off real quick. Wash this multiple times, you know. Come on. Wash it out the bottom. Wash it on. 
Quieta, posta da dos. Season, as I said, when you deal with poultry, you have to make sure you say you don't know, mix it with other things and can't come with other things. And you see me shake the gloves out after that, with just poultry, but with anything still. But you know, gloves. See, that's where I don't touch my, my seasoning back of it, the, um, the poultry, you know. So, what I'm gonna do now, if Link can show you down the other bowl, is my duck down. Have some chicken seasoning in there. Get that down in the sink and everything, right? The reason why you see me, I use so much, is because there's only 10 cents I'm gonna put. Make sure it's there. Find all feathers. Chicken seasoning. Have some all purpose. Spice tonight, you know. All right, so here's my seasoning. So what I have to do now? Get some water in it, and then put the soap. Yes, 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 check in. So, as you can see, I check in for the chickens, them. <laughs> While well, I wait for the, um, the grease for heat up, you know? Yeah, so every day I have to come in and collect my eggs, you know? So, might as well, as I said, when I'm a chicken, them died yesterday, my favorite chicken, Doris, you know? Yeah, she was an older chicken, so yeah, she lived a good life still. Give me a whole heap of egg, you know? So, yeah, I yeah, bury her yesterday. Yeah, man, that's what I said. My chicken they were just for um, eggs, you know? Yeah, I'm gonna eat them. So, you know, them live a, a good, long, healthy life, and, you know, when them drop out, I just bury them. That's what I say. Yeah, this is Catherine right here, she. She don't like any time I come for egg, you know. <laughs> she, don't, she don't like when I come for egg, man. So hold on, let me. I can put up this camera. Put up this camera here, so. You can see where I go on. So, yeah. So, Christ, you know, pick me. Stay right there, stay right there. So, I'm gonna see how much egg. How much eggs. She has to sit on the pan. Only for egg. This is a, it's a daily afternoon, you know. Mm -hmm. so I've come get my eggs now. 
All right, so I'll go on up here. So, it's, what I'm doing is, it's almost like a, um, literally an Easter egg hunt, you know. <laughs> literally like an Easter egg hunt. So, you see that one up here, so though, she probably has sit on for some egg herself. But you know what? Uh, you know what? Let me get them. See, babe? How much egg over here, so. Mm -hmm. I I'm taking your eggs. Yeah. See there? Hold on. This is my collection for the day. Yes, man. I know. I took your eggs. Yeah. So, <laughs> that is my collection for the day, you know. Mm -hmm. So, get my eggs. So now the plan is to go inside now and put these down. But yeah, that's my collection for the day. I mean, I tell you, boy, my <laughs> my neighbor them love me, you know, cause in the room forget egg. So I want to do it. I see chicken in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man, all of them love. Love the life of them I live, you know? That's what I said, I'm not work, I mean, I'm not going to eat them. <laughs> Just there for the egg bed. So, that is it, you know? So, check back in anytime time we um, put this thing on the fire. Yeah, the turkey on the fire, you know? None of the chickens, them now go up on the fire. No chicken will be armed in this, in this video. All right? <laughs> so, the check in shortly. Yeah, man, bless it. Yes, family. Check in, check in, check in. Yeah, so so I'm going on. You know, we are getting ready to put the turkey on. Come on, so, so we got the grease. A wall up there. We took it 350. All right, so we're dropping another grease at 350. Yeah, we have to maintain that temperature. You see me? So right now, this is the turkey. See my lean up on, on stand up. That's why I'm not drain all the water out there, so you can see. Yeah, it's soaked about a couple of hours now it's seasoning. And then now you make it drain off from people because you want as little water upon it as possible. And just so you, you guys know, I mean, you don't have to tell people this but <laughs> sometimes I will put a disclaimer out there, you can actually do YouTube videos of it. You never put a frozen turkey into hot grease. It's like it's like Great now it's an explosion well that's why we got the double cars it's an explosion so anyway i'll put on the camera you know so you can see what i go on yeah all right so the turkey ready now season up the grease is at 350 all right so the lame down in the pan you know so we have my little hook there now so these now I'm going to use to drop them in the grease. And when I get ready to take it out, that's exactly the opposite. See me? So, let's see if we can the camera a little bit closer so we can see what will happen. Alright. So, yeah, we are at 350. We drop this out of grease. Alright. What you do now, you drop it slowly. Slowly into the grease. Right. Yeah, so I'll be going to too fast. The aisle of bubble out. Yeah, man. That's the reason why you want to drop it down slowly. If you drop it too fast, that's why I got all that grease on a smash over. And it can cause a grease fire. See it? Just drop it on in there slowly. And this is one of the other reasons why I say you don't want the chicken saturated with water. See it? Alright. So let me show you how I get it now. Come on, go on. 
Wow. This is why there's some of the measures earlier, right? So that way the grease don't overflow from the side. You see? Perfect. Now I'm going to record it on with it. We'll see where it's going. So right now, everything's set up. Now the temperature is set. Now the timer set. Alright? So this is going to cook our fry for an hour and ten minutes. Alright? An hour and ten minutes. And as I said, we just want to maintain that 350 degrees. Okay? It's kind of cool water, so that's why you see the, the steam will come up still. But yeah. So now we'll adjust that temperature now and make sure it maintains 350 degrees. Alright? For an hour and ten minutes. Yeah, man. So let's stay tuned. I was going to say what you are going, you know, it's going to be really good. The good is all the way, you know, so you know, my dog, as we can, as we can see, yeah, man, job blessings are fall, you know, yeah, man, see that, holy parin, yeah, job blessings are fall, you know, so, I always have to give thanks, I always have to give thanks for job blessings, you know, so yeah, man, stay tuned, family, yeah, and once we get this thing ready to come off, I'll be check for the periodic this year so you can see what it looks as if I cook it, you know? Yeah man, so stay tuned and check this out. Alright, check in. So we're gonna check on this turkey and we'll see what I'm going. The time is up. My temperature is still yeah, 325-ish. So Take this bad boy out, see what it looks like. Alright. Bring out some of this oil. See how that looks? Look at that. Well fried up. Golden brown. Not burnt. Nope. So this is the reason why I soak it in the in the seasoning. Just like it's a sharp man do with the fish. <laughs> yeah, same way. So you see how it cooks on nice. Rest that the stuff. Yeah, nice and golden brown. Because if you put this if you put the seasoning on it, and you can, there's nothing wrong with that. But if you put the seasoning on it, all this would be burnt. You know what I'm saying? Let me see how crispy it is. Ooh, that's it. Mm-mm. Yeah, I think it's mm. so done, you know. This is completely done. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you. You hear that? Hear the crunch? Well seasoned. Mm -hmm. Season is blended in. So I'm not gonna bring this upstairs. Wrap it up and make it just it, everything just kind of flow in that. So I'll cool down. That's really unsure the kind of the last part of the cooking, right? Put it inside, wrap it in far, and just make it cool down. So the seal the seal is skin nice and crispy right now. Yeah, see that? Ooh, look at that! Look. Crispy, see that? <laughs> this is why everybody wants to know. Yeah, man. Mhm. Mm oh my God. Mhm. Mm so yeah, so we're gonna wrap this up, make it cool down, and then we're gonna slice it up later. All right. So stay tuned. Yeah, man. Turkey is done. As you can see, turkey off of the fire. Keep the water inside and go and relax. Mm. You see how the bone them have dropped out already? Hold on. Let me show you how good. Let me show you how good this. Watch it. You see how the bone? Eh? Look at that. Crunchy. Mm -mm. Bone coming right up. Come yeah, on. <laughs> mm. I'll tell you. Well, I feel like if I take out one of them, I might as well take out the other one, which is one come right out. 
Uh, two boy. All right. So at least me know the turkey can't run with him down the leg now. <laughs> <laughs> See me? Take, take away him leg there. <laughs> so me know him now I run with him. <laughs> My little bro, no leg right now, so. <laughs> Even me, I tell you. <laughs> I want, I want to destroy that turkey there right now. But yeah, man, I'm going to make some gravy, you know, <laughs> in the meantime. So, that's what I'm telling you, so I'm going to waste nothing. So, the, the um, seasoning we use for soak the um, turkey, you know, we just put it in the water. So, now we just, well, pour it in you know, put some brown in the night, and then we're going to drop some natural seasoning in the night. Yeah. That's what I'm telling you, so we don't waste nothing, you know. Most people are probably throw that gravy there, but I don't know if there's a material I don't know it's nothing, so. I'll drop this in there. Come on. Let that cook down a little bit. I need to find my cover. I have a collection of cover over here, so you know, so. Ah, <laughs> right one, so. Yeah. So yeah, so instead of, I'm going to use some coconut milk now to make it cook down with. Alright, so go to my collection, collection of knives here. Let's see which one I want to use. I'm going to use that one. Oh, yeah. One of them shops, they don't really matter which one you choose, all of them work the same. So, and I couldn't find no coconut, no fresh coconut, so I'm gonna buy the um, grease coconut powder. Yeah. So, I'm gonna use some of that just to make it thick. Kind of like rundown still, you know? Make it a little bit thicker. I'll use two of them in here. Yeah, you know, so we, have to, we have to use what we can find, you know. Yeah, we can just. I wish me to have a coconut tree in it. Trust me, if me live in Florida, yeah, man, we have a coconut tree plant in the backyard, man, the time. You know? But. Yeah, every once in a while we can eat up the. The grocery, well, the, the, the um, grocery store. Not the grocery store, not the regular grocery store. The, um, what do you call it, then? Like the Caribbean the market. Caribbean market and get some um some good stuff, you know? Get like some fresh coconut and stuff like that. But couldn't find a good one today, so I'm just say, alright, you know what? Let me try the coconut powder. And this is the one from my research that was recommended. Alright, so this had a good powder. So let's see how it works out. I'll have to test it in you know? so, if it needs anything else. It's good enough. Yeah, man, right amount of spice and everything is in there. Look like at pepper, give it a nice good kick. Garlic, onion, sweet pepper, hot pepper. Yeah, man, everything in there. Let's see how it tastes. Mm. All right. And then, I'm gonna drop the bag, look at the sky, you know with the hot come the sweet, you know, so you have to add a little sweet to it. Yeah. That's what I said, I have to use what I can find. I want a Caribbean place where I find online or I purchase some ketchup from. So, I'm going to use it for the first time and see how it, see how it turn out. Okay, you know what? You have to balance it, you know, sweet with the, sweet with the salt and the hot, you know? Eat that good flavor. Smell good. Yeah, smell good. No, I overpower it with the ketchup still. Yes. <laughs> That's exactly what it needed. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. Good balance. Alright. So I'll make that cook down. 
when it starts cooked down, we already have some some mashed potato we make already. So we're gonna eat we we'll eat like mashed potato, turkey, we have some potato salad, salad and what, what else? Salad. Oh yeah, some regular salad, lettuce, tomato, cucumber, you know? Salad, same thing. So yeah man. We're gonna make this cook down and then we're gonna put everything together so I can see. Slice up the turkey. Because when I say now the legs ain't can't run it no more. <laughs> so you're gonna do it until we turn back in, see? So let's stay tuned. Alright, check in. Alright, family, as you can see. Turkey is cooked down. <laughs> I'm putting a skip. So Carb it up, you know. So nice and crunchy. I'm saying. Take off the wing, then. All right. One crunchy wing. I have to know somebody got demolished that, you know. Two crunchy wing. All right. Put that over there, so. So your chicken breast start. <laughs> Now, as I call it chicken, turkey breast, you know. As I said before, no chickens were harmed in this um this video. Watch that. Look how it nice and juicy. Watch that. You see it? See? Mm -mm. Nice and juicy turkey, what's that? You see all this skin? But well, I mean, I'll tell you. No, let me tell you, I said not now, but to waste, you know, you show me. Separate, you say, come off of the bone? Yes, that's what you want. Flip it. Watch the skin. Crunchy. I'm gonna tell you, you know, you never try deep fried turkey, man. Yeah, miss out. The most juiciest turkey you can ever get. Watch it. The bone, bone come right out. That's it. You hear the crunch? <laughs> yeah. That's what you want it, you know. You want your turkey cooked to the bone. All the way to the bone. So I said, I'm not throwing none of this. I like that, what's it? It's like, they call it part of the dark meat. Yeah, it's a dark part of the turkey. Leg and tie, you see? Mm-hmm. Up on the skin. Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. Um, Save that. What's that, people? The Leon family? What's that? Well, I'll just put that to the side, you know. <laughs> All right. I'll just, just pick it apart now. You see all the backbone, yeah? Watch that. I saved this myself, guys. So I said no, this watch it. Uh -uh. Skin. Whoa. -y. Crispy. So we pick up turkey, you know. What's that? Quite juicy. Watch it. That's it. 
Is that juicy? See that? Yes. Crunchy. <laughs> you know, it's me I put all the crunchy piece them over one side. Yeah, man. Because none of this now got to waste. Not one piece side. Backbone, everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Let me say. Should it look? Mm hmm. All of this right now. So, we get a fork. That's what I say. Make some mashed potato. That's left over from Thanksgiving, right? Thanksgiving. What I say Thanksgiving, I mean Easter. <laughs> <laughs> you see? Turkey, make me a tick about Thanksgiving. Uh, that's the matter. Is it a matter? I think about Thanksgiving. That's a normal thing. Normally, Thanksgiving is when you when you get your um, get your turkey. But no, Easter mashed potato, some potato salad. I didn't make this, you know, specialty so Feel like this is enough starch for the two of it, you know? That's it, then. Is that is that your plate, big one? <laughs> no, yours. <laughs> I don't feel how you have plate this. It's just I go and pretend, but I should eat all of this. <laughs> all right, so we have a potato. We're going to do a salad now. Fresh salad. So we have some cucumber, some carrot, tomato, some pear, aka avocado. Your pear, or my pear? Mine. You see? It? And if you put more vegetables in our pear, should I say a pear pear? <laughs> but all right, all right. See there. Make them look good. Mm. All right. That's good. All right. So we're gonna know some turkey on it. We'll get the little thong, the thong, thong, thong. <laughs> but tongs. Alright. So what you get? Alright, then you get one piece of turkey. You want some crunchy stuff? Yes. What do you want? You want just the, just the skin. skin. Oh, see there? Eh? Turkey with the skin. Alright, then we'll put. One piece by mine, and then one, one thigh. Piece of dark meat. Yeah, see that? Mm hmm. That is it. Don't forget the gravy. Oh, see? That's why she's here, you know. So I don't forget. 
I'm going to lick a spoon. I'm going to grab the pot. You want gravy on your um and your potatoes? Yes. Gravy, you want any gravy on your, your turkey? A little. Alright, that's all that's left is a little. <laughs> Turkey, yeah. Now I want to make salt, you know, potato salad, and everything. Regular salad, yeah, my gravy, put it on everything. All right. Put, put, put the stove. All right. What we say? Sample time. <laughs> Wait a minute, should I sample in food or my food? I sample my food because I feel like some have a lot more than fear. I don't feel like we enough people miss up my prayers early before me even start cutting the food, you know. So, just because you know some miss up my prayers, I mean, some you know some prayers. So, why? Mash, what? Mashed potato, potato salad with gravy. Oh my god. Alright. So my dark pot of turkey, you know. Mm-hmm. With that salad. Alright. The turkey breast now, nice and juicy. Watch mm. I tell you, I tell you. What? I don't think about having a beard. Me and no food stuck in it. I didn't know I said nothing. So. I'm gonna clean out my face. <laughs> <laughs> but I tell you, if you never had deep fried turkey, yeah man, this is the way to do it right here. So I think it's in our family. Yeah man, look up. Sit down and just enjoy this food there. Yeah, you know? And why? I'm speechless. I tell you. At least the turkey never run this day, never have no leg, so He's still there, so I'm not gonna deal with him in case. So, <laughs> <coughs> until next time, you know, stay tuned to the channel. As I said, like, share, subscribe. Big up all of my YouTube family. Yeah, Julia, Lifestyle of Fishing, Jam Houston, Jamaica Vibes, Jamaica Shore Fishing. Why wow, there's so many to call, you know? But what am I gonna do? I wanna make sure I'm right on a list. And get everybody a shout out for the next video. But yeah, man, I appreciate everybody's all of subscribe by them. I appreciate all the support, you know. And but now I'll give them a recipe still, but we'll cook food. No? So if we're, in, if we're in Maryland, <laughs> give me a link. But we know when they're close by. <laughs> we'll set up some of them things at food, no? you know. If you never have deep fried turkey, yeah, man, try it out, man. So. Yeah, man. Until next time, stay tuned to the channel. Blessings. As I said, another great rise. Give thanks. And I will see you on the next one. All right? God bless.